Thank you. I come to the floor this afternoon following my colleagues, Senator McCain and Senator Cardin, uh, to speak to the legislation that I am co-sponsoring that they have introduced to ramp up sanctions on Russia. And I think it's important to emphasize that this is a strongly bipartisan legislative effort. Indeed, for more than seven decades, Congress has stood strong on a bipartisan basis, first against the Soviet Union and now against Russian threats against the United States and our European allies. Working across the aisle in Congress, we have supported the NATO alliance beginning after World War II with the Marshall Plan and continuing to this day with the European Reassurance Initiative, we've helped to build the richest economies and most robust democracies the world has ever seen, uh, protected in large part in Western Europe by NATO. Today we face new and unprecedented threats from increasingly aggressive Russia. Russia continues to illegally occupy territory in Georgia and Ukraine, and it's on the march in Syria. It's building up its military presence and making threatening moves toward the Baltic states and in the Balkans. And there's growing evidence that it's actively interfering to spread disinformation and manipulate the outcome of elections this year in France, in Germany, and across Europe. In fact, there is evidence to suggest that they were involved in the Brexit Ref vote and in the Dutch referendum last year. And right here in our own country, Russia has used brazen cyber attacks and other measures to aggressively interfere in our presidential election last fall. This was an attack on our sovereignty, on our democracy, and on the American people. And it was unprecedented. It requires the strongest possible response, short of armed force, to demonstrate to Vladimir Putin that this behavior will not be tolerated and it must not happen again. And that is exactly the purpose of these comprehensive sanctions. I agree with Senator Cardin, the ranking member on the Foreign Relations Committee, that the Foreign Relations Committee should play a pivotal leadership role in both our legislative and oversight capacities in pushing back against Russia's aggression in all its forms. By all means, this includes making the case that the skills and experience of our State Department and USAID professionals are more important than ever. In Eastern Europe, in the Middle East, in Afghanistan, all across the world, they're working to increase the resilience of our allies by strengthening democratic institutions, fostering the rule of law, and fighting corruptions. corruption. These initiatives have played an indispensable role in helping the United States to prevail in the Cold War, and they're every bit as important today as we oppose Russian aggression. Now, we had the opportunity in the Armed Services Committee to hear from an expert talking about Russia and about Russia's strategy. And one of the things that he pointed out is that just as Russia is building up its military might just as it is expanding its propaganda initiatives through um, television broadcasts like Russia Today and Sputnik, it is also looking at how it can undermine Western democracies as a way to interrupt the transatlantic alliance, the alliance between the United States and Europe that has been so important to stability in the world for the last 70 years, that's Russia's real goal. They want to undermine Europe. They want to undermine the West and the United States. And one of the ways they're trying to do that is by disrupting our elections. We can't allow this kind of aggression to go unpunished. If we do, we will surely face further attacks from an emboldened Russia looking to disrupt our democracy further. Indeed, I think this attack should be answered with the most punishing financial and economic sanctions that we can muster. And we need to work even harder to shore up our European allies who are facing ongoing Russian aggression and interference. As we look at the upcoming German and French elections, there is no doubt that Russia is trying to interfere in those elections as well um, with the goal of undermining our democracy. And when you begin to mess around with our elections, you really strike at the heart of 
this democracy that is the foundation of this country. I commend Senator McCain and Senator Cardin for introducing this bipartisan sanctions legislation. And I hope that senators on both sides of the aisle will join us in passing these comprehensive sanctions against Russia.